trying is the wasabi edamame hummus. Uh, the twist to the uh, dish here is the big khakra. Uh, edamame hummus is something that I would really would want to try it out. Let's see how it tastes like. There's a very strong aftertaste of wasabi that is coming in. Something my palate is not very used to. So for me a conventional hummus is, you know, that Arabic dish. But mixing it with the wasabi, it's a really, really different combination that they're trying. And I, I really actually compliment the chef for trying something new and innovative. So I think a 5 on 5 for this one. Having double jeopardy. Uh, it's nice. Let's try it out. There's tons of cheese in it, you know, and the barbecue sauce coming in. Wow. I think this is probably the best appetizer of what we've eaten so far. Guys, next on the agenda, what we have is Sri Racha Taina cottage cheese. Uh, cottage cheese, as we know, paneer, is actually an Indian dish, but remixing this with a Thai sauce, something that my palates would really would love to experiment with. Let's try it out. It's a decent dish. Um, I'm not in really love with this, but I think I can definitely manage this when I'm probably having or thinking of it as a barnacle. Guys, finally on to our main course. What we're going to be having is a cottage cheese brisket. Let's try it out. You know, a lot of people have told me before coming here that we should definitely try this one. Uh, let's see what's the fuss about. Oh my god. This is really well made. And now I know why this is one of their top sellers. Definitely come and try this for the main course. Uh, you really have to build an appetite to finish this. But I have to save it for my dessert as well. So see you then. You guys finally on to a dessert. Doesn't this look amazing? Uh, what we're going to be trying is petite chocolate betel. Let's try it out. That's how much I love it. So guys, finally our evening at Invincible has come to an end. And what a night it has been. Amazing hospitality, great cocktails and super mind-blowing food. That's exactly how I would like to conclude it. Uh, and look at the ambience. I'm sure you would have understood. This feels like royalty. So, you know, if you have not come here, uh, I think you're really missing out on a Mumbai nightlife and the, the great amazing food that they've been cooking here. So definitely recommend it from our team. Do come and try them out.